Agricultural hemp was legalized on the federal level, but in you know, the 2019 Farm Bill, but it remains illegal to grow or even transport through the state of Idaho. And as we've told you, three hemp truck drivers have been arrested. Representatives from both sides of the aisle are hoping a public petition will save those drivers from prosecution. Six on your side's McKenna King tells us whether that petition has any swaying power in tonight's continuing coverage. Three state legislators turned that petition into the Ada County Prosecutor's Office Tuesday afternoon. And while it has no binding power, they're hoping it'll sway the prosecutor's decision. That petition doubling in signature since we last told you about it under two weeks ago. Now reaching over 13,000 signatures from people asking the Ada County Prosecutor to drop charges against three truck drivers charged with driving industrial hemp through the state. These three gentlemen are facing, two of them are facing sentencing and one is facing a trial um, for what has been proven to be industrial hemp. That is not a drug that cannot get people high. Representatives Alana Rubel, a Democrat, and Republicans Dorothy Moon and Tammy Nichols, along with the petition organizer, handed over a big stack of signatures from a petition that states the charges against the men are, quote, an embarrassment to Idaho. I felt like this was just uh, an injustice. I think it's, it's ridiculous that we're spending uh, taxpayer money prosecuting these guys for, for basically transporting an agricultural product. An agricultural product that is legal federally under the Farm Bill that passed in December of 2018, but is also legal in nearly every other state, including the states which the truckers were traveling to and from. So many things went wrong to get us to where we are today. You know, failure to legalize hemp, failure to fix mandatory minimum sentencing laws, which is basically what drove these men to be forced to plead guilty to being drug dealers. Now the men face five years minimum sentencing and whether or not Ada County Prosecutor Jan Bennett's will take that petition into account from the mouth of a former prosecutor. Petitions uh, certainly have a place in influencing public officials and in uh, giving public uh, uh, credence to certain actions or inactions uh, by a public official. But petitions in and of themselves uh, don't alter either the laws or the enforcement of laws and nor should they. Those legislators are hoping for a decision out of the Ada County Prosecutor's Office within the next coming weeks, with the sentencing for two of those truck drivers being in the middle of June. At the Ada County Courthouse, McKenna King, six on your side.